K-Crush comes out for a promo, but K-Crush is no longer his name. My name is the truth, he says. K-Crush is no longer. They gave me that damn name. No longer will I be their damn puppet. I walk when I want to, damn it, walk. The rules and regulations they create, I don't abide by. At this point, like five people start to chant, Anarchy! Anarchy! I laughed. He starts to compare himself to notable, famous athletes with, let's say, shady, off-court, uh, 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 off off-field reputations. Allen Iverson, in the eyes of those who fear him, nothing but a two-bit criminal. Iron Mike Tyson, nothing but a criminal or an outraged animal. They keep us down with scandal. He brings up Daryl Strawberry and Dwight Gooden and Ray Lewis and O.J. Simpson. I wish for I was like, well, you lost me there. So Monty Brown comes out. And as you noted, he is also awesome. We've heard everything you have to say, my brother, he says. I have been to two Super Bowls. Nothing was given to me. I left that career to chase an opportunity here in TNA. And it's an opportunity they helped create. And I think the truth is, you're making excuses because you can't walk the walk. And Truth says, listen, I got no problem with you. You can just walking out of here and Monty turns around and Truth says and I quote step your sellout Uncle Tom ass out of here you'll be shocked but this made Monty want to fight it's Monty Brown I'm telling you dude Truth Truth you know the content of his promo side he is a great promo his delivery is outstanding he is 10 out of 10 absolutely like you just watch him and he's he's like pretty much the biggest guy he comes across as the biggest superstar on the show and then, uh, you know, Count Mark Yvonne Kaur comes out, and uh, and he did a great job, too. And, uh, I, man, he wrestled to, like, 2007 and then was just done. And I don't know what it would be like if he came around today, but, man, that guy was so talented. And uh, I just, I was in awe watching this. I was absolutely in awe watching him on this show, how good he was. It's amazing just how different... K Crush and Brian Lawler are because a year before this they were a tag team in WWF doing the what's up rap thing and lo and behold one year later they are completely different it's incredible how Tr great truth was truth rules truth rules so uh, there's a mighty suplex by Monty he hits an alpha bomb and wins the fight and he leaves, leaves truth laying we have a recap of the AJ Styles Jerry Lynn saga. Usually, recaps and wrestling shows are good to keep you up to speed. You may miss a show here or there. Here's the, how the storyline goes. When this is over, I was like, this just reinforces how stupid and nonsensical this entire storyline is. And then, then we got what happened on the show. So, today, as we sit down and interview backstage with Jerry Lynn and AJ Styles, we each guy is on one side of them. Everyone's totally calm and cool. Even though it's a pre tape, we can't hear them, but at least it started over. We saw the whole thing. So, Tanae asks AJ, like, what's, what's going on between you two? And it's 2022, and man, AJ Lee is just, or AJ Styles is just dripping in redneck. I'm here with Jerry Leon. I wasn't using my head. I respect Jerry. I know he was just trying to educate me. And Jerry says, 10 years ago, I was in AJ's shoes. I was the one trying to make a name for myself. The Flying Elvises are a great team, but tonight we'll be on the same page for the first time. So it's Flying Elvises versus AJ Styles and Jerry Lynn. This is this is just like, I watched that interview that they did together, and it's like, did you guys like totally change everything that you're doing here? Because, you know, it started out where, you know, Jerry Lynn was angry, and he was jealous, and he was being a dick. And, you know, AJ was exuberant and everything, but he wasn't like a heel. And now they've like totally changed it to where they're on the same page, but now Jerry Lynn is the greedy guy. And he's stealing pins and everything like that. And it looks like he's going to be the fucking heel. Or no, AJ's going to be the heel now. And Jerry's going to be the baby face. Or something. Because AJ's the one that stormed off, right? Uh, yeah. I thought the match was really good until the uh, it was, thing at the end. It was, was good. Long. It was 16 minutes long. We're much better about 10. Your bro didn't miss his dive this week. Oh, Horstrada? Yeah. Did he, did he hit it or does not do it? He didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, he didn't do the the one where he lands on his head. In the yeah, ring. yeah. Yes. Yeah, he didn't do it. So Sonny Siaki is not wrestling this week. He's doing whisper soft commentary and occasionally interfering. It's you know what's funny about that move too is it's like it starts as a K Brada but then turns into a, a like a, a front sent. There's a half twist. Yes. And, yes, yeah. and uh, it looks fucking terrible every time he tries it. Mm-hmm. So this time he decided to just do a lion salt, and it was fucking great. Oh, well, there you go. Then. He flew way up high in the air with that moon salt, and they the, the announcers are like, "Holy shit, look at that move!" And he didn't break his neck. No. So, so, so Siaki's mic wasn't on, so he was talking, but it was being picked well, up on the other mics. I see. And then a few minutes later, there's a guy that coming down the ramp to fix it, and then Siaki's mic. Great mic major mic. league show here we're watching. Didn't they have That's... three fucking announcers? Why can't you just take off someone's headset and put it on him? If what he had to say was like important in this storyline, do we really need to hear Don West, who could have just been selling his attack at that point or something? So for five minutes, it's four guys and they're doing moves. No one cares. Gee, I wonder why. Fans are not invested in this Jerry Lynn AJ Styles team. I can't believe this. Who who to thunk it? What's the possible explanation? Eventually, AJ tries some kind of dive. He lands on Jimmy Yang's knee. And then Siaki starts interfering. We have some kind of heat going on. Right in front of the fucking referee. Every time. Mm -hmm. So they beat up AJ for too long. He finally uh, busts Yang's nose with a kick. Tags in Leon, who sends Yang into orbit with a backdrop. Backdrop. Everyone is hitting dives until Siaki saves his bros. And Styles wipes out Lin with a dive. So Styles hit the dive on Lin. Okay. So, okay. So what happened is the two uh, Elvises are outside, and Jerry Lynn is behind them, and he's holding two Elvises because AJ is going to run and do a big dive. Okay? I heard that. So, (laughs) Sonny Siaki flies in, and he fucking gives the Marquis Von Corp pounce to these two Elvises, Mm -hmm. sends them fucking flying, which in storyline is saving them. He's saving them from getting hit, by running and hitting them as hard as he can. I suppose that's true. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. And then, and then AJ fucking jumps, goes up in the air, and he twists, and he fucking came down and just crashed and burned. And I watched it, and I had so many things going through my head. It's like, I know what this spot was, like he hits his partner or whatever, but like... Sonny hitting his guys to avoid them getting hit. And then whatever the fuck AJ did, it's like, even if you would have hit Siaki, you would have ended up in the hospital. What in the fuck move were you doing? I was like, God. And then and then he like barely hits Jerry Lynn. He mostly hits the ground. He like maybe hits Jerry a little bit in the corner. Jerry comes up and he looks like the fucking volcano on Kilauea. He's just bleeding. I mean, he's red all the way fucking head to toe. It's like, God, what the fuck happened to you, buddy? They go, he hit the guardrail after being hit. I was like, man, that's a lot of blood. They uh, they they said that uh, Jimmy Yang had been on a tour of all Japan. The Orient. <laughs> they actually said all Japan. Once they did that. Yeah. He looked so fantastic in this match. Everything he did looked so good. I thought he was a standout on the, in this match. Just like the basic arm ringers, he would do a, a extra twist, and it just everything looked so good. He, he looked fantastic. Lynn so. hit a gusher, like that uh, Bret Hart and Stone Cold match. Just Stone Cold would be like, oh my god, that that's a lot of blood. <laughs> So, so after the blood, everyone seems confused, doesn't know where to be. The Elvises have AJ in the ring, and Lynn's trying to get in, and they can't get in there. The Elvises pick up AJ for a double suplex, and then just drop to their knees. That was strange. I don't know what that was about. But somewhere in here, there is a comeback. AJ goes up top to do the spiral tap. But before he can do this, Lynn pins Jorge with a slingshot splash at 16 minutes, and AJ is standing on the top rope all butthurt. He was. He, didn't, he did not get to do his flip. And you know, it's, you know, what's funny about it is uh, it's a tag match. So, was Jerry Lynn legal? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if he was legal, then sorry, AJ, it wouldn't have fucking mattered if you hit your goddamn get your shit in or what. 
The other guy was a legal guy. If he was legal, he should have been canning out a little while ago because he was trying to get in the ring for the last 20 minutes. Hell yeah. And hey, you know what? If he wasn't legal, then it was the referee's fault. So it wasn't AJ that good, everybody. Been mad at the referee. It wasn't that good. Of the, match. the wrestling was good. The booking and the finish was dumb. So this whole thing started when AJ was in Jerry Lynn's words, hot dogging. He was uh, he was being a glory hound. And they had the fight backstage two weeks ago, and then AJ's on the top rope, does not get the pin, and he's sad that he didn't get to. Showboat. He didn't. He didn't get the hot dog. That's right. Yeah. He did not get to be a glory hound. And he storms out in his partner in a, in a huff. He was definitely in a huff. He was gone. He's he's definitely the heel in this. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.